and welcome back to Jeff Kinaga Live here at Citizen Television. We're talking about real stories about real people who have been to Saudi Arabia and back. And they're not always bad news stories, by the way. There's some good news stories like Lorna Jarab here. She worked there for four, three years, came back, and she loved it. She would go back. Faith Murunga, on the other hand, would never want to see Saudi Arabia ever in her life again. So, you know, it depends on the individual, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah. Lona, yeah, you were yeah. saying right before the break, as yes. you were wahigering me? <laughs> Jeff. Yeah. You were saying? So what I was saying... You, you yeah. changed jobs four times. Four times. And all four employers were good to were you. Were good to me. All of them. Yes. No violence, no... Nothing. Nothing. In those four years? Four, four, four houses. Four houses, sorry. Four families. Okay, yeah. so why did you come back? So before, before I tell you why I came back, Wahiga. Before uh, I tell you why I came back, Jeff. Wahiga again. Nona. Nimeona. Mecheki. Aki nimeona, shaka. Papa kuna shida. Oh my. Oh my. I want to mention names. Okay. Going on here. Yes. First, before I tell you why I came back, okay. Uh, when I went, when 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 I, when I when I was working for all these other houses, uh, I changed the first the, the first house that I was after six months and went outside. Let me call it a maybe run away. I did that, so I went outside. I started. I got another job. It was more. It was paying better than the first job that, that I had. Why I left my my, my 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 good employer and went outside? It's like looking for green air passes because. Right here, I'm paid 900 reals. Then outside there, they pay me more than 900 reals, like double the money. So when we went outside there, and not that the embassy or the, the Kenyan government doesn't know that we are outside, it, outside there. I remember even there was a time that the former, the, former embassy, the former ambassador, sorry, there was a meeting, and they came to meet us. So they know we were there. So why, um, Jeff, what, what, what I would like to say is that the time that I was outside there, there's something that I learned. Many girls, let us say, a quarter of them, a quarter of them go outside because of the, 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 the mistreatments, because of what they go through. Others like me go outside there because of homesick. And others go, go outside there because of the money, because the money is a little bit more. You're paid 900 here, you'll be paid 2,000, 2,500. So what I would like to, 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 to tell our CS here is that as they are going to sit down, and see what to do about this. First thing they remember what they said. Come out of a place, you, you leave. I'm off. Ata kama ya ama five days. Akuna mtu atakuwa na homesick. You have you know that you, you, you know that there's someone that you can go and meet. Mwende mkaechini, you meet with your sisters, you unwind. At least ile homesick ishe kidogo and then you go back again. Again, something I was telling her right now when I was seated here. Talking about the 300,000. Yenye agent anapewa, jotu peleke uko. If something can be done, I sit in Arabia agents because I'm not an agent in myself. See what Haribi. Kama ile pesa ineza punguzwa, Jeff, what was it? Numuli wa 300,000. Aende alipo 900. Ate, it's better they take 150,000, mtu ende alipo 1,500. Yeah. People have been paying 900 for ever since, ever since. Iyo pesa ije ipanda. And that's why mtu atafeel, I bought you. Kwa sababu wakuna vile neza kuja kwako na uli nitumia fair. Yeah, like the thousand, and then I come there. Niki kuona vini kikumu kapesa zangu. That's what triggers most of them. Mm. That's a very good point. So the agents are the ones who are kula pesa zote. Mingi, mingi sana. Okay, so Captain Section, I have a question here, and you know the, a lot of viewers are of this opinion. So listen for a moment, right? Forty women, and you probably know this, Faith, and, and, and yeah. forty yeah. women have been killed in Saudi Arabia in mysterious circumstances. Mm. Young girls there, okay? So some people are saying we need to ban all travel to Saudi Arabia exactly. until this matter is sorted out because mm -hmm. no civilized country yeah. can expect this level of torture, torment, abuse, uh -uh. and killings. It's enough. A lot of Kenyans feel that way. We need to ban travel altogether. But uh, CS, what do you say? Uh, thank you, uh, Jeff. I can see today you have a new name, Wahiga. <laughs> and, uh, that is not... A bad name also. <laughs> uh, Jeff, uh, it's unfortunate that we've lost Kenyans, and as I said before, any life lost, any Kenyan life lost is uh, is uh, is in, any life is important, whether locally and even Kenyans abroad. 
And we have taken note of this. We did request for a postmortem reports. We've been given information through our Minister of Foreign Affairs. We are following up on those postmortem information because we had also concerns on the report. And we believe part of the discussions and the engagements we are going to have uh, will be on the causes and uh, and uh, of the of of the deaths of these 30 women. Uh, however, uh, Jeff, it is important to inform our migrant workers, particularly in Saudi Arabia, to follow and work uh, uh, through the protocol that we have set up. A number of Kenyans who are working in Saudi Arabia went on their own and eventually arrived there without contracts or even uh, familiarity with the homes and employers they were going to work for. So it led to some of these abuses that we are dealing with now. However, going forward, we are appealing to all Kenyan uh, intending or desiring to go to Saudi Arabia to ensure that they work with licensed agents and these agents have been resentized and they have been debriefed further on how to prepare these migrant workers. I was actually going yeah, to actually gonna ask you about the agents, uh, Bonacias. Are you aware the agents take a minimum of, what, 300,000 shillings? They demand 300,000. Is the government aware? And then you're shipping these girls out in their thousands. I mean, there's 97,000. Do you, two, 300,000 shillings, is that the charge? Uh, Jeff, uh, agents have a very important role in organizing and preparing pre departure and also facilitating movement, including medical checks and tests, uh, preparation of uh, organization for travel tickets and uh, travel documents. So in the process, they also incur some expenditure that they charge. However, this expense are supposed to be reimbursed by employers. So at no time, in fact, ILO and, inter, in, and also International Organization of Migrant Workers uh, uh, have, uh, have, uh, have, are very categorical on expenses uh, being charged on migrant workers. Okay. So hold, as a country hold, yeah. and as a ministry, we also discourage and any migrant, any agency that is involved in charging any migrant worker is engaging in an illegality and their license is is going to be cancelled. That, that, yeah, that's, 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 yes, that's easier said than done. And to me and probably to a lot of viewers, this sounds a lot like human trafficking. Maybe, ladies, it sounds like human trafficking to me. It just made legal. Yeah, yes. that's a human trafficking. What you could do, All right, what do you, what do you ladies think? Lorna, what do you think? It sounds like human trafficking. It's the 300 k Did your that employer pay them back? It is. You heard what he said. He said that the agents... That is human trafficking. He said that agents are doing a important job. Yeah. yeah. They are not. They are not doing I'm it. telling you, it's not even a hard job. You go there, he's, she's, he or she's seated there. Akona watu wakutuma, wewe enda embassy, wewe enda ukalete, what do you passport. Passport, yeah. They sit there, hakuna kazingumu, and they get that money. Hakuna job there, there's nothing they're doing. Because, uh, Jeff, watu wakishenda pale, when she was suffering, if you call an agent, hakuna, hakuna help wata kupatia ukiwa uko. Nothing. The only help they give at they block you. They don't even. They block you. By the way, Faith, they block there's you. a video you uh, shot. In the toilet. Tell me about that. Before we play the video, tell us. That, uh, that video, I was sick and tired of that house. I have tried. I have tried calling these guys here in Nairobi like a thousand times, please. Because me, I, I needed the work. I got there because my, my, my schooling level is not that high. Now, that is the only job I can afford at that moment here in Kenya. Lilianda Saudi kufanya job. Sikuenda Saudi kucheza. Now, nimepata shida. I'm calling this guy, please mm. change the house for me. I'm begging you, even they can see me mm. speaking to them. I beg yeah. this let's take, guy. Let's take a look, let's take a I look. Beg that, look that went viral, by the way, Faith. Yeah. It went viral. Let's take a look yeah. at the video. I'm side catering for in Yumba. I'm side catering. I'm doing a job in Yumba. 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 I'm doing a job outside catering. Outside catering, you pick up like 
chakula hata kama ni ya watu mia chakula mingi sana mimi pika chakula mbao sana na hizo vitu zote mimi ufanya hakuna saidi zote yenye mimi napata kutoka kwa hiyo nyumba secondly kuna ile dawa mimi muingiza kwa mada, kwa matako Faith, you were in the toilet when you made that video. Yeah, that is the only place I can get peace. That is the only place I can enter in that toilet and sit down and think. By the way, did you think you were going to die at some point? Did you? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. At the moment, that moment that was the end of the Majimoto, this is my hand. I'm a victim. When we talk oh, about victim, I'm one. Alin Mogia Majimoto. Lucky, just zoom into that shot. Yeah. yeah ali nimwagia maji moto hii mkono ilimwagiliwa na maji moto wakati juli, wakati ripoti ilifika hapa Kenya ilifika ya kwanza amenimwagia lakini they force me make that i burn myself jeff yeah. i was i was there at that point ya gun i didn't i did not even have anything to think about it apart from to say i burn myself tell me something do you know kenyans who have died in saudi so many so many and some of them they are going to die and if this government is not going to do anything, they are going to die more. Lorna, did you know anyone who died? Kenyans who died? Yeah, I know of two. Yeah. One of them, she had cancer, but she died back home. Another one was our friend. She died because of diabetes. Yeah, not because of other deals. Um, before I go to what I want to say, I want to say this, Jeff. The government, when they say that they, they, they appointed uh, some... Uh, some some other agents that were, that came from Saudi Arabia. Mm. Most agents, but it's true, they came from Saudi Arabia and then they opened agencies. What I want them to do right now, because they have to get somebody who has been on the ground. We ha we need representatives. Who knows what has been going on? Like her or me. I know that I can take this job, Naromoja. If they send me somewhere, I go and uh, maybe somebody, beco because before somebody dies, eh, most of them yeah. you see that they record. Mm. Mysteriously, they, they, they send messages. There is nobody to help, and the government, the CS, the CS knows maybe a Jew, maybe a Onangi. There was another kwa ground, kwa ground, vitu ni different, yeah. Jeff. Kwa ground, vitu ni different. Mm. Na sisi ndio tuko kwa ground. Na sisi ndio tunajua we need representatives from us. Oh. One hour, Mary, as a representative, says Yako, Jella Dani, Panini Akondani. You know what? And now, and now we hold on, have hold on, Faith. I'm going to take a quick yeah. break. Before I do that, Mohammed Hersi, you have the name? Very famous Mohammed guy, banker. Hersi. Mohammed Hersi. Uh -huh. Ali mm. These agents were viewers. Were they local or were they Saudi agents? That is now local. local. Both when local. you find a, 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 sorry, a Saudi agent, you eh? can see that you 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 Kama mwenye yali nipeleka, mm. she, was, she, was, she was there, alikuja alikuja kwa Kiarabu then, that guy followed there, waka mfunguli ofisi. They facilitate everything and they leave you there. By the way, he yeah. worked in Saudi Arabia for three years and he says even as a professional, yeah. it was very difficult for him. Yeah. Mm. Even as a professional, and he's a banker, he's an investment banker. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's take a break, come back. I know your stories, you guys can talk forever. And I know the CS has a lot of questions to answer. Yeah. See you. Yeah, yeah. So let's, uh, let's keep talking, folks. Yes, let's yeah. keep talking yes. and keep tweeting. At Queen Anger Jeff, at Citizen TV Kenya, the hashtag JK Live. This is an interesting topic, you guys. And, I, and you know, we pray for Kenyans out there. Yeah. We have to. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. Well, we yeah. have to, Jeff. What an interesting show we're having for you today, folks. I'm sure you're in, uh, lots of engagement on Twitter is on fire. We're talking about real stories, about real people in real time in the Middle East, especially Saudi Arabia. Did you know when nine, there are 97,000 Kenyans in Saudi Arabia alone? Did you know that 40 of them have died this year alone? The way some of them get treated like faith here, you wouldn't want it on your worst enemy. Cheer up on the other side. Lorna says, you know what? It wasn't that bad. I had a great time. So we have the minister for labor and social services, Simon Chalugui. He's also on the line. And there's a question, by the way, Buenos Aires, there's a question from um, Member of Parliament for Gatundu South, uh, Moses uh, Kuria. He says, by the way, he lived in Saudi Arabia for 10 years, ladies. I don't know if you know this. He was a senior banker. But he said in his first few months in Saudi Arabia, it was hell for him until he learned to speak the language. And he has suggested to you, Bonasias, he says, look, why don't we do what the Philippines does? And there are a lot of Filipinos who live outside of the Philippines, especially in the Middle East. They have Filipinos there on the ground, wherever it is, dealing with Filipinos. 
So it's not Kenyans dealing with Saudis. It's, there's a total disconnect between this country here and Saudi Arabia. But if you have Kenyans who have ex experience on the ground in Jeddah, in Riyadh, on the ground, then they'll be able to deal with Kenyans. Your thoughts, CS? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. One, let me correct you. Uh, you mentioned that 40 Kenyans have died in the last uh, one in the uh, since in January, However, yeah, but that is not true, Jeff. We did ask for uh, uh, the number. The correct, we had a question in Parliament about two weeks ago, and the number is 97 in the last three years. Uh, yeah, but since is, January, and this is from Foreign yeah. Affairs, since January, it's 40, 40. Uh, it's, uh, that is not true. Okay, so, okay, the 97 in the last three years. There's still a lot of lot of Kenyans dying. Yeah, the last three years is 97, and some of them were not related to employment. Some were, were due to natural, or uh, some were sick or natural causes. However, as I've told you, we'll be following up on the post-mortem reports that we were given by the authorities in Saudi Arabia. Now, back to the issue of uh, the concern or what uh, the observation of Honorable Moses Kuria. Uh, Jeff... Uh, we are on the race to catch up with other successful uh, countries who have uh, really entrenched the issue of migrant workers uh, uh, um, issue, the sector in their country. One of them is Philippines, who now earn over 42 trillion Kenya, uh, equivalent Kenya shillings from migrant workers' remittance. So as a government, as a country, we have recently in February, in in, in February 25, cabinet passed a resolution to increase the number of labor attaches in Saudi Arabia. You will realize that Saudi Arabia is uh, so fast, the size of East, East Africa and maybe part of Central Africa. And uh, we only have one labor attache. So as a, as a way of dealing with the challenges that we have had from the two ladies, we intend to increase this number by another uh, six of them to make it seven uh, labor attaches in Saudi Arabia so that we are able to deal with the issues and, con and challenges our migrant workers are facing in Saudi Arabia. But Secondly, yes. okay. I want to also... Yeah. No, no, yes. I I had asked, to... yeah, before, you signal, before your signal died last time, I'd asked you the question, and the ladies had agreed. What, you, what we are seeing here, and correct me if I'm wrong, is legalized human trafficking. You didn't answer that question. I think your, sig your signal went down. Legalized human tra It's human trafficking, any way you see it. Uh, Jeff, we have both men and women in Saudi Arabia. We have lesser cases in, uh, on men than ladies and some of the cases we are dealing with are of intentional uh, uh, some of the ladies have run away from their existing contracts which again comes with consequences i think in the current regime or courts of migrant workers we are really sensitizing them on the need to respect and protect the contracts so that you don't cause a kind of bitterness from employers or uh, create uh, some uh, tension between them and the locals or the So what you're saying, go there and act as a slave. That's what you're saying, Buenos Aires. It's not very fair. No, 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 no. I'm not saying they act as a slave because before they leave, we are like Philippines. What they do, they have a fully fledged office in Saudi Arabia that handles the welfare terms and conditions of work uh, by Filipinos. So. Every Filipino who lands in Saudi Arabia is, in for, is aware of their terms, knows the employer, and, know, and they have also negotiated other welfare issues like off-duty days and uh, all those uh, kind of what has been mentioned. Can you, do you see us getting to that stage? That's what uh, Moses Kuria was just saying. Do you see us that get... Is, Go that on. is where we are going, uh, Jeff. And I... I want to assure the ladies in the in the studio now that we are going to fix it. This challenge that we are we are facing now is historical. Some of the cases were because of omissions of the past, but I assure you that we are going to fix it. We are both aligned with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in dealing with this issue once and for all. 
we are equally uh, uh, we are equally uh, we feel the pain and the challenges our Kenyan workers are going through in Saudi Arabia. So in this visit, we are fully uh, prepared and we have raised and itemized all the issues that needs to be addressed and discussed so that the future contracts that we are going to engage with these employers in Saudi Arabia is proper and in, in line with international standards. Okay, stand by, Bonas, yes, stand by, Faith. Uh, do, uh, do you feel reassured by the CS? No. No. You don't feel reassured I at all? I don't feel that. I don't feel that because uh, they, they lie to us. Okay, Buenos, yes. Uh -huh. uh, you know, you are not on the ground. Those girls there, when we go there, you are sure as of our security, you are sure as of our our off, our leave day, our, our off, you are sure as our, of our salary. Okay, you are sure as of our health. First thing, ukigonjeka uko, ufai kugonjeka ile ugonjwa ati inapita panado. Ukigonjeka ile ugonjwa inapita panado, inafaa urudishe kwenye. That is, iyo ndiyo nini ya uko. Ukigonjeka ile ugonjwa inapita panado, urudishe kwenye. Now this boss, anaonanga ugumu kukurudisha kwenye kwa sababu alikununua. Wakati unapopiga simu kwa, kwa ofisi huko unaouliza au wakurudishe nyumbani hawakurudishi nyumbani kwa sababu wewe ni mgonjwa mtu anakufa Rehema alikufa juu ya hiyo Do you remember that lady I remember the name Yeah Rehema alikufa juu ya hiyo in that case mwanandi alikuwa ameshikilia mwana wa Mary Do you remember the case of that lady mwenye alikuja kama amekufa na kaacha mtoto Saudi mtoto akakuja nyuma yake mwana alikuwa ameshikilia because of that Kenya wana wana wana, wana puuza vitu ndogo ndogo kama hizo but zina to cost Tunapoteza wa mama wetu, tunapoteza mabibizi wetu, tunapoteza watoto wetu. How do you feel when our mothers go in the JKEL kuchukua watoto, kuchukua mwili za watoto wa wakilia? As a father, as a mother, as a, as a Kenyans, how do we feel? We need something to do. And the, and hii Kenya yetu ndio ECS, please do something. Mm. They are dying day by day. Lona, ongelesha PSB. Yes, CS, let me tell you something. Kuna kitu umetaja about uh, enda, don't omit uh, those rules and regulations, don't run away, don't do this. Nimetaja nikasema, when somebody runs away, kuna watu urun away because of different conditions. Mm. You're trying to get that agent au mpati, nikuliza utangoja kifo CS. No. You'll be there, you see that your life is in danger. Mm. Kuna watu wamekuambia pale nje, you can come outside here. We go yeah. and we run and they run. I remember a case of our friend, uh, alikuwa mbali sana 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 ushago mtu wa jawai lima nairobi she was a hoka anemi zwamboi she was a hoka here in nairobi city akenda huko kufika kwa kazi ni gani kulima kwa shamba cs anaenda na lima chakula hakuna anakula watermelon kwa shamba true story but me i don't lie true story what did she do she told us that she walked for six good hours bila kuona gari bila kuona mtu mpaka mahali alikutana na polisi Policy when you know what they tell you, Unataka kufanya, unataka kwenda home. Instead of you going home, I have my mom, Hana Shagala, Hana Mstiano Wakazi. So you come, you work for her. They do that. So forget about that. Work are you aside. Even the six people that you want to appoint you people. Kama ni mtu mwenye metoka pale na Yorubi University. Ama metoka JK, 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 whatever. Please. Unataka mkumbusha pale. Unapeleka mtu wajui kwa ground vitu zina hape na aje. What will she go? She will just go there kwa embassy. Akai askiraha. Hatulie pale kwa embassy. But the rights of our Kenyans. Bado zi committed. Yeah. See yes, nina feel ata wewe pali uko. You don't know what happens kwa ground. Ni muna angalia tu kuna watu wanahepa. Kuna watu wako pale. A friend of mine nakulipo for six months. I'm the one who took her to my agent. Kwa sababu I saw that she's called Tina. Ara ninge kuja nani vile pendi kamera akanipigia simu she used to call me ananiambia sijalipo for 6 months that house alikuwa na mwenda wazimu mtoto mwenda wazimu alikuwa anampiga 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 ananiambia maji sijalipo 6 months and when the baba the boss akikuja the baba anaambiwa tina sura 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 enda kibia kibia ujifiche nikamwambia na kuambia ngai voe the parents used to call me lona tujongea na tina tina hajatuma pesa yes i could i used to call her na me do i god has gifted me i know how to handle these people ninampigia madam na mchekesha Namwambia madam can i talk to tina ananiambia ah tina fee na kali tina chukua simu na uza tina tujalipo eh mzee akikuja na kuambia uingie ndani eh nikamwambia leo akikuja usitoke ni wewe na yeye that day the mzee came Tina, ro, ro. Tina alikataa kuenda. Akamuliza nini mba? Akamambia, boss, I've not been paying for six months. Akamuliza, how now? I always give this woman the money to give her. Tomorrow, very early in the morning, to end up back, 
pesa yako akarudi ku na mama walikuwa na fight usiku so you're saying the agent stole all the money agents i'm telling you there's nothing the agents are doing I've had I've had him, I've had him say that um, the agents are doing a vital job hakuna kazi kazi ya agent inaishia hapa atuwanyanganye kazi yao tupewe agents who are ground the moment people like that know what happens there evil. by the way CS you heard that uh, you yeah. heard that uh, first of all are the agents ever vetted do you have a list of all the agents that uh, are involved in this migration as you call it but I see, are you with us? Can you hear me? It's not clear. The, okay. the net is down. Okay. It's not I, clear. I can hear you now. We're asking whether the, the agents, are they vetted? Yes, uh, Jeff, um, we have now an elaborate vetting system that is interagency, which involves the Ministry of For, uh, Foreign Affairs, Interior, and even Migration, and our ministry, so that... Uh, we stop, we first uh, check on the we do we carry out the background and due diligence on uh, directors of these companies we also check on uh, their tax compliance we check on their history before we renew their license and we also check on their financial capacity to handle uh, maybe pre departure expenditure so that is uh, basically what we do before yeah. we or we license okay but lorna agents. lorna here we was saying yeah Lo lorna was giving an example of someone who wasn't paid for six months but then the employer was paying an agent but the agent wouldn't pay the young lady uh we do not have any agent who has not uh, paid up for his uh, license who is operating because when uh, this is a condition, this is one of the conditions to enable or uh, to license uh, any agent to operate in the, this uh, uh, process of uh, arrange. Uh, yeah. Buya, yes, I think you know if you ask the ladies, qua ground mambo ni different, mm -hmm. and they don't agree with what you're saying. They say you're lying. Yeah. On the ground, it's a different story. Maybe you need to talk to those people on the ground because the they have no clue yeah. what these ladies are going through. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I, 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 okay. I can, I can tell Bonasi yes. Come uh, on, Aingia kwa peji ya Nelson Mudama Miruki. Aingia ata uki ingia saa hii. Mm. Just to Google that guy. Nelson? Mudama Miruki. Mike Nelson Mudama He's Miruki. He's in states. He's in state. Mm. He's doing a lot of work for the Saudi girl. Like, wamejia kwa wali yaka, wamepigwa. Wame, for US. a long time, by the way. And that the guy is the one who pay my flight ticket. Yeah. Where is the go Kenyan government? Where is my office that time? Mm. Where is my boss that time? That guy, Alijitolea. Yeah. And now that is the work that Mwanali kwa nafanya, uh. akondani. And now we have another lady in the ground called Clara. Clara na saidia pia watu. But ata yasa akikuja sana, pia naeza we kwa ndani. Because awataki mtu mwenye anasaidia watu. Wanataka ule mtu mwenye anasema, okay, juko ground, sijui ati 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 bosi ya kikuambia fanya, kitu fulani, unafanya. No, atu kimbiangi kwa sababu, wacha nikulize chef. Umepewa chakula. Unalala vizuri, salari yako unapatiwa vizuri, uko mgonjwa unapeleko hospitali unatutiwa vizuri, hakuna kelele kwa yoyo nyumba, utakimbia? Mm -mm. No. Never. You will never run away. Lakini mtu unakimbia nga kwa sababu, mimi hata ninge kwa kukimbia ninge kimbia. Lakini unakimbia unaenda wapisiki. Uya mesema nini, unapele kwa nguko mausha mpani. And Saudi Arabia is a desert. Sika mkutaona green. Mm -mm. Is a desert. So, na joto. Na joto. Ukitoka hivi, ujua hata unaenda wapi. Sisi kama hili liko kwa rara. By the way, uh, Lorna, yeah. how did you come back? What made you come back? Right, okay, Jeff. Before I tell you what made me come back, there's something I don't forget. Huh? Maybe sometimes the government may feel like uh, maybe kuongeza watu wengine kwa ground, eh? it will cost a lot. Maybe and our government, maybe now there's no money or anything. But I was thinking, you're 300,000 and you're all to ipunguzwe. Again, these people that are still there, wale watu wako pale nime kuambia wa uchanga. We can form a welfare. Mm -hmm. And kwa hii welfare tatu semi yeah. kila msichana tuwe 50 reals. Only 50. Only 50. 
Only, only 50 reals itaweza kufasilitate ku kwa sababu said it is too big by the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, peke yake. In his own head, always ya kabeba. Mm. And even by the by, by the way, vile ninakuona ni bonus yes. Hii mm. Saudi manzi uweza ni nayo. Wacha tuseme tu kweli. Tuongeze watu kwa ground. Whether you like it or, or not, not. Ata mkika chini saizi mkimbia uko murudi. Those things okay, will still then. happen. Mweke watu mwenye, unajua, ule mtu mwenye mefinyo na kiatu ni anajua. Anajua. Wewe yeah. haujafinyo, wewe uko kwa ofisi pale. Ulitoka uni, uka ingi hapo, you are na CS now. Lakini hizi jobs za chini, ndio unasikia Moses Kuri anonge because he has been there and he knows. Mm. Akiwa pale uko ofisi, anajua what you are saying right here. Yeah. So, mutupatie iyo platform. Na kama siyo sasa ni sasa hivi. Na, eh, kama siyo leo. Tell you, Kama siyo sasa ni sasa hivi. And I'm, t I'm telling Kenyans and our people that are there, I know they are so happy right now. Hizi mambo wa mtu waisikia tena. Because out of 97, out of 97,000, neza sema like almost 10,000, washa piti hizi vitu zote. Yeah. People have been dying. Ata kuna wengine ya mta sikia, haita semekana. Badae, kuna an agent alikuwa na anambiwa badae after some few days. Fulani fulani alikufa mbezati, oh, alikufa sija sikia. Nende alikuwa mempeleka. Kwa sabu alikuwa melenga mpaka messages are so mitena. Mm. Yes. All right, when I see, yes, I'm sure uh, the signal is okay. If you can hear me, I'm, I'm going to give you the last word here. Yeah. Watch us here, Satu Angalesha. You've heard the ladies, you've heard all the complaints. I'm sure, you know, you are aware of what's happening on the ground. You get the last word here. What do you say to reassure Kenyans going forward? Uh, thank you, Jeff. The government has taken uh, seriously these cons uh, complaints from these migrant workers in Saudi Arabia. And uh, we have put in place a number of initiatives to address some of these complaints going forward. One of them is last year, Jeff, we looked at ourselves among us, the, the 11 countries in Eastern Horn of Africa so that we develop common BLS between us and these 11 countries. That is uh, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Ethiopia, and Djibouti. That is one initiative. Two, chairs, we are coming up with Migrant Workers Welfare Fund that will address some of the challenges our migrant workers are going through including when they are uh, like when they are put in deportation camps or they feel like coming home this fund will be contributory and this will help in dealing with some of the challenges they are going through they will not need to now engage agents in assisting them to come back home then we also came up uh, embraced the musanet which is a platform or a software that is also embraced by saudi arabia this software uh, registers and keep track of these migrant workers in Saudi Arabia. And also the policy that uh, is now before the uh, Department of Labor in Parliament and the migrant and the Labor Migration Management Bill, which will give, uh, which will string, uh, streamline the responsibilities and duties of agents so that you don't just uh, organize transfer of migrant workers to Saudi Arabia, but we also we will also be expected to monitor and track the welfare of these workers while they're in Saudi Arabia until they come back. So see, these are some of the initiatives that we are taking and we are managing now, and we believe this will go a long way in uh, securing, protecting uh, our migrant workers in Saudi Arabia. Well, okay, but 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 yes, real quick. Hey, yeah, ladies. okay. Well, well, they hear you and we hear you. Let me ask you this, Bonasias. If there's a young lady, a young man applying right now to go to Saudi Arabia or to Dubai or to Qatar, it's anywhere in the Middle East, if they're applying right now, would you encourage them to? Would you say on TV that, yes, your life is as precious as any li life of any Kenyan anywhere? Uh, Jeff, uh, I want to assure any Kenyans looking for uh, uh, working locally and abroad that we, their lives are important both here and uh, when they are working abroad. So I want to uh, um, assure the two ladies that once we travel to Saudi Arabia, all these issues that you have brought forth will be addressed and I believe uh, the future is bright and uh, we will be able to deal with some uh, with these challenges and assure them of their safety, assure them of their comfort while they're working 
in Saudi Arabia. Okay. When are you going to Saudi again, Buenos Aires? When are you off to Saudi? I think the signal just rose again. All right. All right, ladies, would you encourage anyone to go today? Faith. Okay. For me? Yeah. Experience is the best teacher. I can't tell anyone that don't go. Because everyone are going to be here. Like you see, this one, Ali and Mkono Mzuri, Min Kamke Mkono Mbai. You can go there. Try your luck. Yeah, but at least before you go, the only thing I can tell someone, before you go, chunguza ila agency na kupeleka. Is it genuine? Is that agent iki kupeleka? Ukipata shida? Ita kusaidia? Yeah. Before we get on the And then ukifika uko, wakufuatilie. Juu kuna wasiana wajalipua. Muta na maza miezi mbili, miezi tatu, miezi ine. So mwarabu anaona kukulipa hii pesa yote miezi, miezi hizo zote, anaona ningumu. By the way, how did you escape? How did you get back here? Okay, after kuchomwa mkono, nika toroka, nikaenda, nikaenda police station, kwa zuwa linifos, niseme on gunpoint. Zuwa linifos, niseme nime jichoma. So after kusema hivo, that jioni ikakuwa lazima niriende kwa ofisi ya RR. Kutoka RR, nikaenda kwa ofisi, and then they make me confess that I burn myself. Now ofisi ya Nairobi wakamini nime jichoma. Nika, nika, tuli have kurudi na uwe jama kwa nyumba. Kurudi na uwe kwa nyumba, thank God. Just thank God, tulipata na nataka taka kwa mlango. So mama alikuwa mbele, mimi lilikuwa katikati, baba alikuwa nyuma. So ufika kwa mlango, mimi likuwa nimeva op, uh, closed shoes, baba na mama alikuwa nimeva closed. Wakaniambia, ni, eh, niende nitupe taka taka, ni rudi nipatiane my secret phone. My secret phone, yenye likuwa nayo. So mi sikuenda siku tupa taka taka. Mili lichukua hiyo ndo, mkitere muka chini, nikachukua ndo juu. In the morning, likuwa nimekimbia, nikuwa na kapita sizangu za contract. So hiyo, my secret phone lilificha inje. So wakati lilienda kutupa taka taka, nikachukua nika nika simu yangu, nikaeka kwa my, my phone, hivyo ndivile lilitoka. So kufika inje, nikaingia kwa building. Kuingia kwa building, nikapata mtaro kubwa. Hiyo mtaro nikapigia esabu. Nikipatikana hapa, nitashutiwa. That is a gun. Siyo toy. Hiyo ni gani. Nitashutiwa nipatikane hapa. Nikipatikana hapa nitapatikana mifupa ikiwa mtu. So, kutoka nje nikakutana na huyo boss but hakuniona. Mimi nikalala chini. Kulala chini akapita akaenda ile side nyingine ndio mimi nikakurosi lami nikaenda. Imagine sio mbali Jeff. Sio mbali. Just like 10 meters Red Cross iko pale. Just kuingia kwa Red Cross na kukaa chini. I'm tired. Nilikuwa nimechoka juu nimepigwa asubuhi nimepigwa mchana ni mimi mwenyewe ni mgonjwa nilipigwa mara tatu nimemwagiwa maji. Now I'm tired. Juni kifo mimi ninangoja. Now kwa Red Cross I still say that the same same st statement that I burn myself. After after Red Cross recording the statement they called police police they, uh, after police came I I repeated the same thing. I burn myself. They took me to the hospital. I burn myself. Now in the morning Ndiyo sasa niliamuka ni kajua ho. Because when I open my eyes, I see this guy there, standing there. Haka niambia, yala feyu waro. Nika muza waro wen. Feyu tunaenda. Nika muza wapi tunaenda. Atu waro betu, tunaenda kwa nyumba. Nika ambia la, ana mafiroi inti. Mimi, ana mafiroi beti inti. Mimi siendi kwa nyumba yako. So nika rudi, nika, in that process, daktari yaka kuja, polisi yaka kuja. Nika waelezea the whole truth. Because this guy did this, 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 and they make me confess that yeah, I burn myself. Now, me, the only thing I need is to go back home. That is it. I go back to my country. And they believed your story. Yeah, here in Kenya, they believe. But I talked to the guy, the owner of the office there. The guy believed me. Yeah, but the only thing I can help you is I will tell the, your boss to sign your uh, your exit flight exit. You go back home. If you have anyone that can pay your flight ticket, you go home. Because here in Kenya, they were demanding that I should pay that guy 118K, Jeff, of which I don't have. Yeah, the money I was sending to my hubby. My hubby eat all my money. Now, when that story came, came out, I have to pay my own f flight ticket. I, uh, Nelson, that's where yeah. Nel Nelson was. This guy in the US? Yeah. He's the one who paid yeah, your fare? Yeah, he's the one who paid my fare, my flight ticket. Would you go back? Where? Saudi? Saudi, never. Over my dead body. Would you recommend anyone in to go? No. But if you want to go, just to go. But don't come on my opinion that when Zangu and Ataka went to Saudi Arabia, so which advice do you have? No. In fact, there's a guy in my inbox and I'm here to ask you, Akona Waschana. 
ana watu in kwenda Saudi so because they have been there and i know arabic a little arabic sijuni ende ni wafundishe zile vitu zanaenda kupata huko jeff how i'm a victim here i'm still fighting this thing called uh, depression because when i came back i find nothing and right now i'm living i'm living by the grace of god i have nothing lona would you yeah. would you go back yeah. anytime anytime even now even now you'd go back. When if CS tells me come and take, I'll come and take you. <laughs> would you recommend others to go? What I will tell someone who wants to go, Jeff, kwa sababu utaka hapo ukunywe maji na ugale. Trust in God with all your heart and with all your soul. Mm. Do not lean on your own understanding, but in everything, acknowledge God. Mm. Put God inside. Let him be the center. Uyu hata kusaidia. Government haita kusaidia. Kuna mali tafike, it is only you and your God. Yeah. Pray a lot before you go there. Yes. And be wise. Mm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, wise. I think we're done, huh? Yeah, because you came home and you were happy, right? Mm. I'm happy yeah. and uh, I can still go back there. Yeah. Okay, what I always say is that I can go back there maybe for shopping, just for adventure, because I love the country. Mm. Yes, I love mm. Saudi Arabia. All right, I guess but to each their own, huh? Bueno, yeah. CS, thanks so much for your time. Lorna? Yes. Thank you for coming over. And by the story. And by the way, I have a good news. After you interviewing me on Hot 96, yeah. uh, today I meet the HR Kenchik. Yeah. The, At Kenchik. Yeah. And and they told me that they will they will just help me. They will chip in. So wow. I'm still waiting. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. Bueno, CS, you still with us? Could you still hear us? Sure. Yes, I'm with you, uh, Jeff. So you, it looks like you wanted to say something, so I'll, I'll give you the final word. No. Yeah, well, I know what uh, these ladies have raised is weighty, and uh, uh, all Kenyans are concerned about what's going on in Saudi Arabia. I want to give assurance that after our visit in the course of this month or early next month, we should be able to uh, inform Kenyans what is going on in Saudi Arabia and what actions we are taking to address uh, this issue so that we we'll fix it once and for all. We are equally concerned that uh, uh, we've lost lives. We've lost uh, 97 lives in the last three years. And it's important that as government, we, 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 uh, I can hear you, CS. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, man. Did you just freeze again? Could you hear us, CS? You still there? Yeah, yes, yes. There, there's a network problem oh, where I am, uh, Jeff. No problem. Go ahead. Yeah, there is a network problem. Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes, Jeff, now I can hear you okay. again. Real quick, you know what? Why don't you arrange to meet these young ladies? You know, arrange, they can give you some feedback. Some, they can tell you the feeling on the ground. Organize you with your office, give them a call. And you know, the, the best experience is life and they've been through life. So, you know, that's my little suggestion to you. Just organize and, you know, meet them. You can, uh, you can uh, ask the ladies to come to our offices. I think by uh, on Monday we can come to offices and we should be, we'll give we'll listen to their story, listen to their issues, listen to their concern, and use those lessons to assist in building a better future for mm. the 97 Kenyans who are in working in Saudi Arabia. 97,000 guys, will you organize to go to see the minister? Yeah, yes. we'll organize, yeah. and then he tells us the time. Yeah, the time we'll go there. We'll go. <laughs> I, I'll be there. So at that should time. I now check his diary, guys? Yes. Just, we'll put you in touch with his office, okay? And you yes. guys can meet. Okay. Want to see? Yes. Thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. I know you've had a long working day. Appreciate your time. Yes. Let's get some feedback. What do you say? A little bit of feedback. Okay. okay. Martin Mola says, "Sad stories on the bench tonight. The government should just resolve this issue once and for all." Yeah. So much feedback. It's incredible. It's incredible. Uh, Alenga Tot. Tortoise, hey, tortoise, okay. okay. These stories on Saudi ordeal are indeed heart-wrenching. Is, is it possible for the Kenyans affected to be assisted to file a case at the International Court of Justice? Whoa. Whoa. It is not possible. Why not? Because when I came back, at 
at least ningepata mtu akunisaidia nipate hiyo justice and nobody helped you nobody even in government they know they know i they, they know yeah, because they, they said it's your story. word against wallace yeah, yeah yeah at least lakini ningepata mtu akuniuliza what what went wrong would you still want to yeah would you sue them yeah to file a case sir. yeah to file a case yes kabogi wawero says how does the kenyan government reach out to kenyans facing challenges in foreign countries especially in cases of abuse they don't mm -hmm. they don't they don't, they don't. They don't. We Ladies. fight our own battles. Keep fighting. Yeah. Yes. Keep fighting. Yes. That's all I can say. Yes. And you know, well, well done. At least uh, you came and told your story. Yeah. And there's 97,000 in Saudi mm -hmm. alone yes. Yes. of us out there. Yeah. So just you know, hopefully they're listening, they're watching, and they can learn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Lana Chirap. Yep. Yes. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank and you so much. Well, see us. Thanks so Thank much you. for your time, guys. Evangelist Lana Chirap on YouTube. Subscribe. Hello. <laughs> and my school teacher, Young Achievers, I say thank you for welcoming my kids. Thank you very much. My grandma back at home, go go yamune. Anything else? My mom. So you said it? Yeah. Kararan. Mamingala. Mamingala. And, and uh, Jeff, oh Jeff, and I, I thank everyone that will stand up with me at this tough moment. I really thank you guys. And please continue because I'm not, I've been not achieved my dream yet. Good. Please. What do you want to be when you grow up? What would you like to be? I'm already 30. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what would you like to do? I, I would love to have my own Kenchik and my home. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm a motivational speaker. I would love to motivate people, to inspire a lot of people. And shout out to my pastor, Pastor Regina. I love you so much. Bishop Boaz, my PN lady, my manager, Lena. Lubia Co Generation Collection, yeah. I love you so much, All right. guys. Dennis yeah. There's a lot of shout-outs. It's like, it sounds yeah. like the Buta. show, yours for the asking. <laughs> Enough, ladies. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank and shout-out to our DP. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for joining us tonight, folks. What a story. What stories. It's yes. incredible. But Can't Jeff. make this stuff up. Thanks so much for being a part of the show, folks. Keep tweeting. At Queen Angie Jeff. At Citizen TV Kenya. The hashtag. JK Live. Mm -hmm. JK Live every week. Thanks so much for joining us. Good luck. Yes. Good night. God bless all these ladies and everyone, and all the Kenyans working out there in the diaspora. Thank you, folks.